travel lovers, so my name is Justina and I am Misha and together we're at Beer for Breakfast. Now I will be very very honest with you, this video might be the hardest video that we ever had to make in our YouTube history. So before we get into this video, we wanted to let you know that we will be mentioning all sorts of different foods from different cultures just to show the diversity of Malaysian cuisine. And we also chose this list with the tourist in mind. So anyone that's actually coming to Malaysia for the first time, these are the must try dishes. So here it is, our top 10 favorite Malaysian foods in no particular order because we don't want to start any wars in the comments section down below. But as Misha mentioned, please let us know your top 10 favorites guys. Roti simply means bread. It is an Indian influenced flatbread which can be eaten at any point during the day. We tend to eat our roti in the morning for breakfast. We've actually made a very big achievement by having roti for a whole month. I'm sure it's not helping for our fat around no. the tummy area. <laughs> and it's kind of impressive how many different variations people can make just using flour, water and salt. Mm -hmm. The most basic roti you can find here in Malaysia is roti chanai. Mm -hmm. I've had to really like get to know my pronunciation of that but I think I got that right this time. I think you did. Roti yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. You can also have roti bomb which is probably the most calorific roti you can have. <laughs> it is literally like doused in condensed milk. It is so sweet. I am so drooling. Good. I am drooling. Uh, we also like having roti tissue, mm -hmm. but you need to find a really good roti maker because the craft and the skill to make roti tissue, again, is very impressive. It yeah. comes like in this massive cone shape. Mm -hmm. But our favorite, the one we have every single morning is roti talor, which is egg bread. Mm -hmm. So the egg is cooked inside the roti mm -hmm. and it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. You can buy a roti for as little as 40 to 50 cents and we can eat for about a dollar a day. Yeah, exactly. So cheap and so delicious. Mocha comes under koi family and koi just simply means sweet. So koi comes in all sorts of sizes and shapes and tastes. It's like a pastry, like a dessert, like a sweet and I can guarantee you that you wouldn't be able to go through mm -hmm. entire list of koi whilst in Malaysia because it's just never ending. It's endless. It's endless. So if you have limited time in Malaysia you must try serimuka. It's basically made out of glutinous rice, pandan leaf and coconut milk and we had the best serumuka in mm. Kotoburu which is in a Kalantan state and it slides through your teeth like a butter it's yeah. just so so good like again I'm just drooling just thinking about it it's, it was just like it was divine it like, was so fresh it was right? so fresh oh Cooked that day and we went back for our second round and I think we had eight Eight individual pieces. We're not even lying in the guys. same night. Yeah, it was incredible. So good. Nasi kanda is a staple of Malaysian food. Basically, what it is is different variations of curry, normally served with rice that can be basmati or steamed rice, mm -hmm. and you basically just say this, 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 and this. And they put it all on the plate all for you. All on the plate, mm -hmm. and you will never be disappointed mm -hmm. because all of the different sauces, you either like one or don't like the other, you'll end up with something delicious. Yeah. We had our favorite nasi kanda in Ipoh, where it is so good and so addictive there that mm -hmm. they have renamed nasi kanda nasi ganja just because it's so addictive and so good. And it's that translates funny. to addictive rice. Yeah. Yes. Weed rice. Oh, weed rice. Weed, yes. yes. Addictive weed rice. <laughs> yes. yes. So it's just so good. And like I said, if you don't know what you want when you go to a nasi kanda place, just point. Say that, 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 and that. Yeah. And you'll have a great time. 
In our opinion, nasi karabu is the most beautifully presented dish that we've ever seen in Malaysia. With its brightly colored blue rice, contrasted with marinated mm. chicken and fresh vegetables, it's Instagram gold. <laughs> and you can usually find nasi karabu in the east side of West Peninsula. Yeah, Kalantan and Teranganu. Teranganu. Nasi goreng, fried rice. <laughs> you can find it in pretty much anywhere in Malaysia and at any point during the day. So or the you, night. <laughs> or the night, yeah, exactly. If you're hungry at 2 a.m. and you just fancy something to eat, just go down to your nearest mamak shop and just order a nasi goreng. Mm -hmm. And it's really, really cheap yeah. and really tasty. Yeah. And to be honest, we have this throughout all of our weeks, like when we're working, because yeah. it's just a very simple dish. Very convenient, it's very quick to make. And if we really fancy some meat or some some fish, we, we just, just add it, add it on top of yeah. it. We love our banana leaf curry. We seriously had so many of them throughout our travels here in Malaysia that even right now, just thinking about it, I could kill someone if I could just go and get <laughs> one right now. And it's just so good. And it actually comes on a banana leaf, an actual banana leaf, and it's usually filled with lots of different vegetables, sauces, papadam. You can add some meat if you like. Yeah. Like like you said before, it's very good for vegetarians too. I did say yeah. that. I'm always thinking about you guys. Yeah. <laughs> the banana leaf in itself is almost like a disposable plate. And when you eat it, it's just so interesting, such a unique experience that, you know, we never have had in UK. We rarely have bananas at home though, do we? <laughs> we probably don't. <laughs> and actually it's best eaten with your hands. Mm -hmm. So if you go and have a banana leaf curry, they say to eat with your hands. Mm -hmm. um, we tried it once, but the curry was way too hot. So I think we need some banana leaf training. Or <laughs> well, maybe you have to wait for curry to cool down. But and it's too good. It. It's too good, you gotta get stuck in. Mm. How do say. you guys do it? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Char Koi Tao translates to stir-fried rice cake strips and we have had the best Char Koi Tao in Penang. Mm -hmm. Normally at hawker stalls in the evening mm -hmm. you can see like so many stores just coming out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. You're like, what is that smell? It mm -hmm. smells so and good. And it's usually Char Koi Tao. It's that normally smells so that. good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's usually really cheap, under yeah. a dollar. Under a dollar, yeah. Yeah, and, and again, it just fills you up for the rest of the day or the night, whatever you're doing. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. It's a staple of Malaysian cuisine, I'm sure. Yeah. So Rampi Burger is probably our second most calorific dish on our top 10 list after Rossi Bomb. <laughs> and um, you can buy your Ramli Burger at food vendors, just simply on the street, and there are about 25,000 stalls nationwide. That is a lot. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, Malaysians, they love the burgers. So what is a Ramli Burger? So basically, it is a meat patty cut down the middle into a thin slice, and then there's an egg that is poured and covered over the meat and then there's seasoning on there, there's barbecue sauce, tomato sauce, mayonnaise, mayonnaise, the bread is actually fried and my dad actually keeps talking about the Ramli <laughs> burger when we showed it on a previous video. He said that burger looks so good. It's kind of like for Brits, it's kind of like a kebab for like 2 a.m. after you've gone clubbing. Mm -hmm. That's how I would categorize a Ramli burger. It's just so good and mm -hmm. dirty. And juicy. And juicy and fatty. And yeah. it just hits all of the right spots. And your, your fingers will get so greasy yeah. after just biting it for the first time. That if you eat a Ramli burger and there's not egg yolk just dripping down your arm, <laughs> then you haven't had a good Ramli burger. I think that's something that UK should introduce to their market. That's actually Actually, that's an interesting point actually because mm -hmm. when I was researching to create this video mm -hmm. I found out that New York has actually introduced <gasps> Ramly Burger New York, there. there we go. But mm -hmm. you'll be paying like $12. For oh it. right, okay. Yeah. Whereas here in Malaysia is extremely cheap. It's, it's probably cheap. about four Malaysian ringgit per one Ramly Burger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Laksa. 
We haven't tried all the regional laksas across Malaysia, but the one that we tried and fell in love with was Sarawak laksa. Amicheli rice noodles, bean sprouts, big fat prawns, <laughs> coconut milk, shredded chicken, soy sauce on the side, even shredded omelette. Even shredded omelette. Yeah. It is so, so tasty. Mm -hmm. Again, with the coconut milk, I think that's why we fell in love with it. Yeah. Because it just, it just tastes it so aromatic. Experience. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. So if you find yourself in Kuching, which is an estate of Sarawak, you have to go to Chun Hui Cafe, where Anthony Bourdain named this dish as Breakfast of the Gods. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what we're talking about, guys, we're gonna link a card for you here. So click on that and check out the video. We shared all of our experiences trying that amazing Sarawak laksa. You will be hungry. We promise you that. <laughs> boiled eggs literally are eggs that have been half boiled <laughs> and they're normally served with toast and you're normally meant to finish off the half boiled eggs with soy sauce mm -hmm. for the salt and a little bit of pepper, pepper. Mm -hmm. and it's just so simple but yet effective and you can find most half boiled eggs in kopti yams which is cafes and we had the best half boiled egg in Ipa and this was at the new Hollywood restaurant mm -hmm. and we just couldn't stop talking about it like I we think we ordered two lots of plates each. of hubble eggs each. two each yes because it was yeah. so good I don't even think we filmed how many we ate no. because we're embarrassed I we're know like, oh please give I us know. some more just something so comforting about eating this dish mm -hmm. I think partly it's a nostalgia element because half boiled eggs is very similar to what we have back at home mm -hmm. called eggy soldiers mm. and it just it just reminds me of being a kid mm. and being young and just you know snuggling up in front of the TV whilst having some breakfast uh -huh. and I don't know it's just such a nice dish yeah and again it's so cheap feels very homely doesn't it feels it? very homely yeah and you should always wash down your half-boiled eggs with a white coffee mm -hmm. from Ipoh preferably mm -hmm. as you can see Malaysia has made us so passionate about the food and if you do come to Malaysia you must eat 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 and get fat fat fat, fat. fat. <laughs> if you don't you haven't done it all and we know we have got fat because we get told in every single video thank you guys Yay. I got chubby. <laughs> some of you may be wondering why we haven't mentioned nasi lemak or durian and uh this comes down to our preference this is our top 10 malaysian foods mm -hmm. but if you are coming here as a tourist you must try these dishes we really hope that you enjoyed this video we hope that you learned more about malaysian cuisine and we hope that we have inspired you to come to malaysia and try all these different and amazing dishes do you know what justina yeah i'm really hungry I think this we should wrap this hungry. video up and actually go grab some dinner. Yeah, I hope we made you hungry as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you'll like it so we know that you enjoyed it and we can make more content like so. And of course, leave your top 10 Malaysian food list in the comment section below so we can go through it and maybe choose our new favorites. We'll see. <laughs> We're not sure about that, but we definitely are intrigued to find out your yeah, top 10 favorites. Yeah, and this is not our definitive list. I mean, we could we could talk about this all day oh yes we yes. could go to top 100 i'm sure <gasps> oh my god yeah, yeah but it would be a very very long video yeah and it was really fun to come up with our own top 10 list yeah so thank you so much guys and as always cheers, cheers to freedom, freedom. Woo!